So today I want to help a buddy out. So there's this guy, Dom, he's been emailing me. He's been sending me some beta logs, his tune and everything else. He's been having trouble. So he's got a Dodson. Um, he hasn't really had a chance to really enjoy it from what I can tell as much as he could. He's got it built. He's running kind of a junkyard engine, very similar to what I'm doing right now, where you can just, you know, blow the engine <laughs> and still have a good one in place. So he's got an existing or another engine that he's planning on building and using long term. But... He's having problems with this current one. And so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've opened up Megalog Viewer as well as I've got his tune pulled open here. I thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of go through, show how I troubleshoot as well as let's help him out. So if you guys see anything else on here that uh, you want to call out, maybe I'm missing something. I kind of looked at it quickly the uh, the other day I was traveling. Um, it's been vacation season in the summer, so it's hard to, to get around and really do things. But here's kind of the gist of where I am at and what I'm seeing. So in this case, here he is. He's kind of starting to ramp up on it and get into into boost and get into the system. So you'll see right here as he's getting into the boost, so the white line is your RPM. The red line is your map sensor. In this case, look at how it's bouncing. How many more times can I say in this case? Uh, but if you look at it, see how it's bouncing around right here. Um, the air fuel ratio, you can see it diving down. Looks like it's starting to get pretty low right there, kind of low 11s. There is always a delay on the AFR, so not too surprising. Um, his is not a huge delay though, but it really shouldn't be bouncing around like that. Uh, let me see if I can find something where he's in it for a little bit longer. It looks like he hit a higher gear here and uh, you can see the RPM. So we're about 3,500, 3,600, 3,700. That's where things start to break apart. So something's going on around 3,700 RPM and oh my goodness, look at that AFR. Uh, so it's right around here. It just goes from mid 11s, which is healthy. My car loves the mid 11s to the high 11s. And then it starts diving down. I should say it actually loves mid 12s, but uh, mid 11s it takes without detonation, at least from what I can tell. Uh, even gets as low as down into the border of nine AFR right there as he's kind of going through it. He's pushing through it. You can see, look at the RPM, the white line at the top graph. You see that bouncing up and down and just kind of going crazy. Okay, well, let's start off. What I think is happening, I'm gonna start off with that theory first. What I think is actually going on is even though the AFR is delayed a little bit, maybe the sensor calibration is a little bit off, I think he's having spark blowout. I think he's getting too much fuel in there. He's running pump gas. Um, I believe he said 91 California octane, whatever it is. But um, I don't know, California Octane, I'm going to be blind. So someone fill me in if I'm missing something that's special about that. Anyway, um, I think he's way too rich. So I can start off there, lean him out a little bit. And I'm hoping that is what's causing this fluctuation in the map. Probably needs a new set of spark plugs after going through all that would be my guess. Um, let me kind of dive out. I'm going to look at another section. Uh, those aren't that crazy. Here's where he starts to romp on a little bit right there. So he kind of gets into it. Look down here on the AFR. So he initially starts giving it throttle. It drops down to mid 12s, slowly starts bearing in, really starts to swing right around there. Fairly stable, but then the spark and the map, all that starts to go a little bit crazy. And that's all through kind of that 4,200. Yeah, I think, now granted, if you have unburned gas, it's always gonna read as lean. And so what I wanna do is I wanna look at the red. So he's got initial hit here, it takes, duty cycle's fine. Let's take a look at his tune. Let's start there. So I got it pulled open, haven't really dove into that yet. Um, I'm going to wait for a second. Fuel settings. I'll move that over here. Okay. So I've got a fuel table right there. And I'm also going to open up the AFR table. I want to know what his targets are. He's got them down there kind of low. A little lower than I would like. 
So he's aiming for about 11 and a half. He's below that, usually right around here. He's hitting low 10, so he's definitely rich there. So let's take a look at that um, it, VE table. Oh, wow. Uh, I think this is part of the issue. So we saw it hitting about 3,600. That makes sense. So as soon as he gets out of this area, it looks like it's just diving. Let's take a look at the 3D graph. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, so you can kind of see how we've got a valley right there. Now, what I'm guessing has happened is maybe he's doing auto tune through this area and it's leaned out this section. We need to take it more though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and let's start this way. Maybe I'll interpolate, interpolate. Ah, I can't speak. If I start it this way, kind of do something like that. This is obviously too high. Um, let's take this and I'll go ahead and actually I'll do it right here. He's got the peak kind of section in there and you can see how much it's just pulling out from that area. I think it's just too much. So I'm going to come in there. I'm going to kind of cannibalize it a bit. I'm going to horizontally do it that way. And then I'm going to vertically kind of bring it down there. Now that's going to look just flat line, kind of hideous right there. This is sections of the map that he never hits would be my guess. So that's why you're seeing this up higher. Um, but I think right there, at least giving it the main thing I care about is this section. Uh, 160, 140, through these RPM ranges. I think that's really what is mattering, what that cares about. It's way too rich. Unfortunately, I'm not there with him to tune this, so I might tell him to, to give it a shot. Hopefully he's got audio tune. If not, I will I'll try and hook him up that way. But going back in and taking a look at the data log, here's what I'm seeing. I've gone through... There's a couple other things that concern me. Um, pro tip, if you're looking through a data log and you're trying to find something quickly, if you hover over the section where you're kind of investigating, use the up and down arrow buttons and you can quickly go through all the different sections and you're gonna be looking for something that lines up with the problem that you see. In my case, there's really nothing that lined it up exactly with what he was running into. He did make mention he was a little worried about the battery voltage and he's absolutely right. He needs to tighten the belt on his alternator. Um, that's what it looks like to me. He's running down there. His best voltage was 13.8 volts. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else is looking great. Uh, he's still hitting around 10 PSI. It's still a possibility that it's a mechanical issue. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the wastegate. Uh, wastegate's fluttering, doing something goofy, or it's the blow-off valve is venting. Being how violent it is, I would guess or lean toward a blow-off valve before I lean toward a, a wastegate. But uh, yeah, it's a little strange there. So, anywho, I didn't want to go too much in detail, but at the same time, I want to kind of share some of my ways of looking through a data log, what I see, what I'm looking for. I'll probably spend a little more time off camera playing with this VE table just to get things ironed out. But uh, if you're seeing something that I'm missing, let me know. Uh, let us know. I'm sure Don would love any and all help that you can have, especially with, uh, you know, the kind of the standalone ECU crowd. It's always nice when we can uh, help each other out. So here's my, my case for that. Anyway, uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you later.